On the 24th of July, 2023, officers were dispatched at 4 a.m. to check on a home in a suburban area. Concerned neighbors had called 911 because apparently they've been hearing screams coming from the house next door. Knowing that an abusive guy lives there with his pregnant girlfriend, a group of officers come to check on the situation. How you doing, sir? Pretty good. How about you? Boy, Logan County Sheriff's Office. What's going on tonight? We had a neighbor complaint saying that they heard some yelling over here. It wasn't here. Okay. Who else is here? Just my girlfriend. We just woke up. Okay. Up. Can you ever come? I'm going to get some clothes on. Okay. Can I step in? Yeah, you just step in. You're Daniel, right? Yes, sir. How things been? Okay. No, we ain't been fighting or anything tonight. Just been moving and whatnot. But what is it? Just been what? Moving her stuff in back in with me, but. Okay, why would the neighbors have said that they heard a scream come from here? I have no idea. You don't? No, I mean. Do you have any idea why? Okay. What's your name again? Brianna. Brianna. Can you step outside and talk to this fella for me? Where are you working at now? Uh, just for plumbing and heating around the lake here. You don't have any clue why the neighbors would have heard something come and they pinpointed this house? They were, what, you guys weren't in a heated argument or anything like that? I mean, not really, because we didn't even argue tonight. Not at all? Not tonight, You no. said you just woke up. You guys always wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning? I get up about 4 o'clock every morning, yeah. Get ready for work for the day. Okay. But I heard the dogs start barking. That's why I got up and looked out the window and seen you guys out there. So if you're just right, what happened tonight? Is grandma, is it not grandma who lives over there? You don't want to? I just don't talk. They don't talk to me anymore because I, I have no money. Naturally, you know how this works. We yeah, talk to no, both. We no, talk to both. We talk to both sides, and yeah, understand that completely. How long has she been moved out of here? You said you just moved her back in. Mm, right? She moved back in probably about a week ago. About a week ago. Mm -hmm. How long were you guys separated? couple months. Because you guys were having problems there getting along yeah, there for a while. Months. She's been out at her mom's house. Where's the baby? She's out at her mom's tonight. Okay. So. That's why there's no. stuff everywhere. Kinda. No, no more dog cages in the living room? No, the dogs are outside right now until we get her moved back in. But just getting everything arranged and everything back in. But everything's been kosher between you guys. No arguments. I mean, I mean we argue, but everything's been good for a while here, so. I was like, the sheriff's here. <laughs> she's like, for what? I was like, I don't know. She's like, you gotta answer the door. I'm like, right. You got an ID on you? Just let my dispatch know I'm talking to I don't have an ID on me. I got all the wallets and stuff, but I don't, have my, I don't have an ID. I lost it and it got broke, so. Yeah. Do you know your social? Okay, yeah. Hold on a second. Yeah. Go ahead with it. Two seven four. Seven three. In the meantime, the other officers on site consult with the girlfriend. Already understanding the situation she is in, they check her for any marks that could hint at physical abuse. So he choked her. Threw her in the ground multiple times. All over her phone. It's all on her phone? It's all over all over the phone. She didn't bring it up. She just turned it back on. I love you, Charger. Okay. Well, like I said, I, I, I can't really go to my mom's tonight because she's got my kid in the CPS right now. So I was just trying to keep the peace until I could find something. So, that was great. I swear I'm going to do that. 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 I'm
<laughs> you willing to fill out a statement? You want to get her started on a statement? Mm -hmm. He's got him. So, tell me what you told him. You got eyes on him? He, so I, I got her phone turned on because it got shut off because I didn't pay on time last night. Mm -hmm. And I just plugged it in because I needed to charge up. And um, he said, I know you didn't come out here without that phone. So, I mean, I did, you know, I just plugged it in. You came out to where? The kitchen. Okay. And uh, he was getting up. I said, I'm hungry, so, you know, I'm pregnant, clearly. <laughs> so I was hungry. I was going to come out to get something to eat. He came out and made him a bowl of cereal. And he said that. Uh, hey, the next thing I know, I'm on the ground. I was like, like, I just really don't. I just didn't bring the phone. That was it. I'm just tired of this. <laughs> Three years, like I'm tired. <laughs> just one more thing. Couple times. Yep. Just one more thing. Okay. She don't like my voice. So, did you guys get into an argument this morning over a phone? This morning, like. Yeah. Yesterday morning. Like today. Uh. Probably by this morning we argued, but what not tonight it, or anything. What was it over? I don't remember us arguing about a phone. What about like when you guys just came out here to have breakfast? Didn't you just come out here and have a bowl of cereal? No, I just woke up though, yeah. Okay. I We haven't really been arguing or nothing. Everything's been good since you moved back in. So. Yeah, we've been good. I don't understand why the neighbors would call. I didn't hear anybody yelling or anything. The stories aren't lining up, man. Okay. I'm a straight shooter. I'm gonna tell you how it is. Yeah. Like, she's saying that there was an altercation that took place. Is there an altercation that took place? No. You understand how this works, right? Yeah, I do. I do. So I answered the door. I'm, I mean, I mean, like I was trying to hide or anything. Yeah, I know. You've been. And usually when we get in an argument, it's that heated. I'll leave. So, I know that too. But I didn't feel like I needed to leave or anything, so. But it's been pretty good since she's moved back in. Gracie! Grace! It's enough! Marks on her. I didn't see any. So she's also saying she don't feel right, safe for being here. Did she say she wanted to call anyone? He took the phone or anything? Or? Well, she texted her mom and told her to call. Her mom told her to call? No, she texted her mom and said call 911. And he, so what's she saying happened tonight? The, she came out to the kitchen because she's pregnant and hungry this morning and they got into a verbal he choked her and she woke she ended up on the floor and that's pretty much it that's all she just told me before you, you got up there with a the statement when she writes out on paper I mean I don't know if there's no marks but if she puts it on paper that's where I'm at I mean unsure of what exactly happened here tonight the officers question the girlfriend one more time and check her for any visible marks. How long ago did all this take place? I don't know. Right now, what time is it? 4-11. 4 hours now. So she, when she woke up, that's why. And then, did you say you have any marks? Like, and then, uh, my Turn your head that way. Okay, turn your head that way. And you said he choked you in the neck? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> There's an old bruise on my face right here. Um, and that was actually from last week. And uh, he kicked me. Kick, 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 kick. Okay. So just, just Do you have your phone back? Previous. I don't know where it is. I'm not sure. Okay. 
you go ask me. I'm not sure where he Okay. So I'm going to take pictures of these marks, okay? Go ahead. Go ahead and tip your head towards your, one prior. Tip your head towards that shoulder. I don't know if this is going to show it or not. It's not stating on there. Very much sure about times and stuff. Really. You're good. He can't hear us. I know, but I'm terrified. I'm sorry. Yeah. Is that not? Okay. Like I said, I, I'm, I've been, I've been clean. I've been trying okay. to get my baby back. Tip. I was at my mom's, and he had went to jail for Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. If you remember that, I night. remember that night. Anyway, um, well, he had gotten clean, and he, he was doing pretty good for a little while. And so we had the baby, or you know, maybe on the way. He thought that everything would be okay, and then next thing you know, he's not clean anymore. And, I got pulled over by Earl, and I didn't know that that stuff was in my car from him. And so I'm in a whole lot of trouble. My baby got taken away from me because of all this shit. And I'm stuck because my mom has my baby, and that's my one and only place that I have to be able to go to now. It's I'm back in three three until three I can. And, and make sure three four. that I can't. <laughs> it's just a, it's a good thing. Yeah. I'm sorry, I just was curious because, I mean, I know that he has scratches on him too, but, I mean, I was just trying to get a place. Yeah, where's his scratches at? Where? Like on his arm, probably, I think, I don't, anywhere I could grab, honestly, just because I couldn't, because it wasn't just the kitchen that I got to, like, when I went back to the bedroom to get away from him, and he thought that I had you guys on the phone, because the phone was plugged in back there, um, he didn't believe me. He would not believe me no matter what. And I was like, I'll get the phone for you. I swear, I'll get the phone. And then I started choking me. He just wouldn't even let me get the phone. He just started choking me. And then, I mean, I thought it was, you know, I thought that was it for a second. You thought what? I thought that was it for a second. Daniel, show me your arms for me. It's all the worst stuff at work. You'd see the What's scabs. This? Just old stuff. Right you see here. the scabs around me. What's that mark? Just all these marks are from work. Okay. I, I, I promise you. I mean, if we were arguing, I would have left. Okay. It would be the last thing I want to do is stick around and argue when well, I've been down this boat with her. So. <laughs> Unfortunately, I feel like you went down that road again tonight. I didn't, I didn't touch her. She didn't touch me. I mean, if we argued about a phone yesterday morning, I mean, that was an argument. We didn't get physical. About a couple hours ago. No. Not at all. No. So you're denying it all the way. I did. Yeah. Okay. I'm not. I'm not denying. I'm telling you what happened. I mean, there was no physical altercation. Why would she make up a story completely different than that? She. I don't know what her story is, but we didn't get in a fight. I already told you that the stories aren't lining up. I. Uh, no, you did. So why would she be saying something different than what you're saying? I don't know what she's saying. I know what happened, that's what I'm telling you. We didn't get into a fight. I mean, okay. We argue and stuff here and there, but I mean, it's just an argument. Okay. And we don't physically fight with each other. Never? I mean, we have in the past, that's, you guys know that, but I mean, a lot. you also know when I when we get into it that bad, I'll leave. When, when got, you know that when you know that somebody's called, you, no, you didn't know somebody get, called No, tonight. when it gets heated and stuff, I, I'll walk out the door and I'll leave. I mean, I don't sit here and argue. I mean, I know better. I mean, the last thing I want to do is something like that to get in trouble or anything like that. So, and we both got kids together. And she's been, pregnant again, isn't she? Yes, yeah, she's pregnant again. Things have been going pretty good, so we've been moving her back in the last couple of weeks here. But. Okay, put your cigarette out. I'll leave if I have to leave. I mean, that, that's not a problem. Turn around. Yeah. And yeah, find your back. What am I getting charged with? Domestic violence. Yeah, this ain't gonna go good. I'm just trying to fight the last one, man. Yeah. I get a bond or anything for that? 
off the chip. Good. You still like buying stuff? What's that? Can I tell her you're buying shit? I mean, I do love it. I'm not trying to. It's going to be peaceful as you walk by. If you say anything unpeaceful, no, I'm not going to say that. And we're not stopping. You can just tell her on the way by. We're going to that back car. Baby, I love you. The suspect was arrested and charged with domestic violence, assault, and aggravated battery.